this is the era where we don't really acknowledge other promotions. So we can't really acknowledge on our program that Harley race is a legend from his NWA days. So when he comes in in 86, we have him win a tournament to be crowned king of the WWF and pair him with Bobby Heenan. And of course he had that big feud with uh, JYD at WrestleMania three. And that's a pretty big, unique spot at the time uh, to have him as a former NWA champion working sort of the middle, but then man, he gets a, a big match against Hulk Hogan at Saturday night's main event. And that was a, uh, well, a pretty legendary injury. I think it might be the first table spot in WWE history. He's supposed to uh, dive off of uh, the apron onto Hogan. Who's laid out across the table. Hogan moves. And this is not uh, a table like we would use these days to say the least. And Harley's hurting for certain. He's going to be out with a hernia surgery. Do you remember hearing about that brutal hernia surgery or injury that he suffered in this table match with Hulk Hogan? The injury was something, you know, it was a spot that Harley had wanted to do and injured himself. Um, now, you got to think about how bad Harley Race was injured here because Harley was one of those guys that – you damn near have to run him over with a semi truck for him right. to show up late, much less, or have his son's wrestling uh, match. He won't show up at all. But um, you know, Harley was a tough guy. He was he was not one to take time out for a ingrown hair or anything like that. Well, let's talk about Harley for a minute here. The reason we're bringing him up is because he's going to leave the company shortly after the Royal Rumble in 1989. And he would say in an interview afterwards, time and stuff was starting to catch up with me. Started wrestling when I was 15 years old. And back when I was world champion, I was wrestling seven nights a week. I would have a complete week off every four weeks. With Vince, there was no time period off just every day. Working for Vince was pretty tough because he was in the process of trying to take wrestling over on a worldwide basis. What do you remember about the end of Harley race here in the WWF? Pretty much his words say it. I think Harley was, Harley was tired. Harley was tired and Harley was beaten up. It's time to go. Um, you know, there was, there was a period in there just that Harley busted his ass and I'll never forget. Uh, another guy, another one, you know, you look at, you look at things that happen in your career and, and why they happen. And if they didn't happen, would you have ever been able to go as far as you did? And there was a gentleman that Vince had brought in that was going to be, uh, what was he supervising producer or executive producer or something? It was a big title and came in super nice guy. Um, Great guy, actually. Uh, Chris Carmody was his name. He was great in the, in the sports world, man. He was great out there in the real world. In our world, not so much, because Chris didn't understand the nuances of what we did as far as promoting and as far as uh, having guys work around things. And Chris had heard that Harley had this injury. So went in and at that time we did customized tapes for every single market. So Huntsville, Alabama would have a customized tape, go to your station in Huntsville, Alabama, completely different tape that would go to Los Angeles, completely different tape that would go to Denver, Colorado, completely different tape that went to Dallas, Texas. And they were all customized for the individual markets for whatever matches that they had coming to their market. And Chris looked at these and, and saw that Harley Race was literally on the second from the bottom, like the second match on the card. And Chris took it upon himself to pull all of the customized tapes and send all those markets a generic show. Now, Harley was not going in for his surgery yet. Harley still had planned on working oh my. around this. And Harley had still, you know, like, oh, no, you know, I'll do the surgery here and I'll schedule it. I'll still work up until then. And so Harley was still on those on those tapes. But when I say he was on the tapes, it's like um, 
it's a horrible way because Harley Race was an incredible draw and an incredible man in general. But it was kind of like Hulk Hogan versus Kamala, Randy Savage versus Ricky Steamboat, you know, blah, 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 all the top stars. And Harley Race will be in action too. Right. And he took them all. And we had to get all of the customized tapes, get a couple of Lear jets, oh, put a few no. people on them, and go from market to market to market to market to make sure that all those markets take back the generic tape make, so that they couldn't screw up and run that by mistake. Yeah. Take that one back and give them a customized tape so that they had the correct information for the market specific. 